here we are at uh, the Sydney show with uh, General Manager of Nova Caravans, Paul Golding. Paul, uh, you've been involved in uh, Nova since the inception, so it started about eight years ago. So we just wanted to talk to you about how you maintain momentum from the startup business to, to where you are today in your business. No worries, Mark. Good to be here with you. Um, yeah, momentum, it's, a, it's an, interesting, an interesting word uh, to use for, for business, but I suppose if we haven't got it, we're, uh, we're standing still and going backwards. Obviously, from from start, um, yeah, things didn't come as easy as we, we probably thought it would. We we struggled. We made a product that we thought was uh, was very nice and uh, would be accepted. Uh, was very uh, uh, well finished and a lot of thought of European styling. We struggled at the start to uh, to get our first dealer. In fact, in uh, in 2006, when we went to our first caravan show. We took three vans. No one knew of us. No one had heard of us. There's this brand called Nova Caravans, fresh on the uh, fresh on the scene. We went to the Melbourne Caravan Show with a dealer from Shepparton. We took three vans, and uh, from there it uh, it started to roll. So we had a, we had a very successful caravan show uh, back then in 2006, and from then it's uh, it's been a, a continuous growth. Fantastic. What are some of the challenges in the business from uh, obviously establishing your business and then getting the workforce and then maintaining? Getting, getting the momentum with the work, workforce. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, starting up, the number one thing is who's going to sell them. You know, you've, got a, you've got a brand new product. We felt that we did the right things. We, we, uh, we became members of the RBMAA, as it was known at the time. We, we joined the CTIA Victoria. We uh, contributed to CRBA, and, and uh, we, we felt that we were, we were putting ourselves in the right position and in the right frame of mind to be accepted into the marketplace. Getting dealers was the hard, hard thing to start with. Once people started to see it, then we were able, you know, from one dealer we grew to two to three to five over, over sort of a 12 month period. Staff, um, you know, qualified and quality staff to, uh, to build caravans is, is a hard thing to come by. Uh, we had uh, oh, probably, uh, you know, three or four in the factory at the start, grew to 10, grew to 20. We now employ over 50 people. Wow. So uh, we've certainly uh, experienced that, uh, that momentum. Through the, through the last seven years. So we're into our eighth year of manufacturing now, so very good. And from a management perspective, uh, obviously there's days where it's tough you know, facing up to business. Oh. How do you maintain momentum in your, in your management role? <laughs> well, the, 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 beauty, the, the beauty for me uh, is that I actually get out of bed every morning and enjoy going to work. I really do, I mean that. I've, been in this, I've only ever worked in this industry. I started in 1979 uh, in the camping side of it and then moved into caravans in 1996. But there's been some tough times when you think, where's it going to come from? You know, 2008, we moved. We, we had a, a very small um, uh, factory. We could probably build two to two and a half caravans a week. We knew we needed to, to grow, to move and grow. And uh, we, we took on a, uh, a larger premises, two and a half thousand square metres, where we felt that we could build up to, you know, seven or eight, nine caravans a week. So we moved there in, uh, on the 30th of June, 2008. And things were going great and we had orders in and we had all these spots to be, to be filled by the dealers and, and all of a sudden we, we got to, uh, I think it was about September, October and the thing called the GFC hit and all of a sudden we, we were sort of faced with, a, with a, a bit of a task because we'd allowed to build all these caravans and all of a sudden we were going to run out of work. If we kept building our four to five a week, we were going to run out of work. So we, we created a new product called the Reviver. Um, which was aimed at the, uh, the lower end of the market. We added to that a top end product called the Pride, which had all the bells and whistles uh, for its time. And from there we grew. So from October 2008 through to about August 2009, it was pretty tough times, but we maintained that level, you know, just through, through good management and, and, and uh, working smarter rather than harder. Uh, from 2009 on, Again, we had a great run, and then all of a sudden, 2011, there was a general downturn in the uh, in the industry, and it was and it was a little bit of a, a, a tough uh, uh, task again. We went out, we we acquired some uh, some new dealers, which was fantastic, and, and and out of that, we've got some some great new dealers. Our stable now has grown to uh, eight dealerships um, throughout Australia, which is which is about where we, we need to be at the moment. Um, and then through that period, we looked again and we thought, well, where else can we go? What else can we do? and off-roading, four-wheel drive was, was a big part of it. So we, we studied it, we looked at it, we thought, okay, what can we do? We, um, we produced a product called the Terra Sports. We made one, it went to every show in, in 2011, all the mini shows, it went to, uh, it was gonna get ready to go to the Adelaide Caravan Show in, uh, in February of 2012. And in that time, since we produced it, we'd made one caravan, one caravan. That was all we'd done. And uh, we sort of think, what do we do? So we contracted a, uh, a media company 
and to take the caravan away and test it. We told them to break it. We said, go and do what you have to do, and if it gets broken, we'll know what we need to do to fix it. Yes. And uh, from the time we produced that DVD, uh, the, this just been an absolutely phenomenal response to our terror sport. So again, there's another market that we've that we've hit with that off-road, and we're we're comfortable in in uh, warranting, uh, uh, guaranteeing the the product for uh, for off-road use. And again, we have the DVD playing at the shows. It's a real DVD, and it was done by uh, some you know, true professionals, and it's been a great help. And then uh, again, this year we've uh, we've had a look. We've we've tricked up a couple of our our older models, give them a new face look, new interiors. We've got you know uh, exclusive uh, acrylic gloss uh, finishes inside now, leather, you know, TVs that come up and down out of cupboards. We've got slide out now on our Pride Platinum, so we've even taken our Pride to another level, which has been uh, been sensational the way it's been uh, uh, received in the marketplace as well. So. Momentum uh, is certainly a word that we can use at Nova Caravans. Well, Paul, uh, I can tell from your passion and enthusiasm that's how you have maintained momentum in your business. So thanks for spending some time with us. No worries, Mark. It's been great. Thank you. Good on you.